video is about JLayer, which is a decorator for swing components. The content is based on the JLayer page in the Java tutorial. You'll get the most out of this video if you already know how to create a user interface using Swing. JLayer is new in Java SE 7. You can use JLayer to change how components are drawn and how they respond to events. I'll show you some examples. This one draws a transparent gradient on top of a panel component. Notice that JLayer can draw on its children, which is not normally the case for a swing component. Here is something more practical, an animated weight indicator. This next one shows how you can respond to events. It draws a spotlight at the current mouse location. Finally, here's an example with JLayers that decorate individual text fields. They show a red X if the field cannot be validated. JLayer is only half of the story. The other half is Layer UI. Layer UI does most of the work of drawing and responding to events, while JLayer just serves to bind together the Layer UI and the component. To understand how to use JLayer, let's start by looking at how you would add a panel to a frame. First, create the JFrame. Next, create a panel with some components. Finally, add the panel to the frame. Piece of cake. Now, how is the code different if we're going to use a J layer to decorate the panel? First, create a layer UI that's going to control how the J layer is drawn and how it responds to events. Now create a J layer with both the panel component and the layer UI subclass. Notice how we use generics to make sure the types match. The last thing is adding the J layer to the frame instead of adding the panel. To make this work, of course, you have to define a layer UI subclass and make it do something interesting. Let's look at how that works next. Layer UI draws the J layer and responds to events. You can customize behavior by overriding methods. The simplest thing you can do is override the paint method. This is Wallpaper Layer UI, a simple Layer UI subclass which paints a gradient on top of a component. The first thing it does is paint the component as it would normally appear by invoking the superclass. That's here. After that, Wallpaper Layer UI does some custom painting. It sets a partially transparent composite, which you can see here, then fills the entire area of the component with a color gradient. Notice how we first make a copy of the graphics context, then get rid of it when we're done. This is to make sure we don't mess up anyone else's painting by changing the graphics context we were given. This is how it looks when it's running. Everything works as usual, it just looks a little funky. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to JLayer. For more information, take a look at the Java tutorial, where you can get the source code for the wallpaper example, as well as other examples that you saw at the beginning.